Hey, this is Sam from Sure. In this video tutorial, I'll cover the basics of inventory view configuration in Wireless Workbench 6. You'll notice in my inventory, I've got a lot of Sure network devices shown here. The beauty of the inventory in Wireless Workbench 6 is it's a great one-stop shop to manage both networked and non-networked or virtual devices, whether they're from Sure or other manufacturers. If you've got a lot of devices in your inventory, however, this can be difficult to organize or view and find what you're looking for. So I'll show you a couple tips and tricks to best organize all of the devices and channels in your inventory. The first thing I want to mention is the inventory view is divided by columns. Each of these columns shows a bunch of different data attributes for all of the things in my inventory. Right clicking on any one of these columns shows me a menu where I can choose to show or hide different data fields that I might be interested in. Another way the inventory view is organized is by these headers. This sort selector allows me to divide the inventory by a number of different attributes. Right now, we're organized by type. So microphones are shown separately from in-ear monitors or spectrum managers. Um, but I could also choose to sort the inventory by network if I'm connecting to different subnets of devices, by zone if I'm using the zone property to divide my gear in different RF regions, or get rid of all the headers and just show uh, only, uh, let me sort only things by the column headers that are in the inventory view. So you got a bunch of different ways to show this gear and make sure that it makes the most sense for you. One helpful tip I'll show you is that uh, these headers also have some helpful controls if I wanted to, let's say, flash all of the microphones or using the identify command, where I send this command to the actual front panels and those front panel LEDs will blink. Using this flash all uh, option from the right context menu of these headers is a really quick way to do that. Some other helpful tips for tagging certain devices you might be interested in is using the tags field. Um, I can show the tags column and right click saying uh, manage tags. It'll show me a list of tags that I've created. Let's say I want to create a tag for uh, backup singers. I can create that tag and now if I want to go through and tag some of my channels uh, with the backup singers tag, I can choose that and apply it and now anytime I ever want to see backup singers, I can just use the search field to search for any of these attributes. So let's say I want to see all my backup singers. Uh, using this search box, we'll search all of the visible columns in the inventory and pull up any channels or devices that match. So you'll notice that tags is kind of a nice freely assignable way to organize your channels in arbitrary groups. That also is a nice showcase of the search feature, which will search any of these columns. Last but not least, I'll show you that for visual organization, uh, channels can be assigned colors, which is kind of nice. If I right click and say assign color, I can pick from some uh, colors that are already selected here. And this is a really nice way to visually organize my channels if I've got electrical tape on my transmitters that corresponds to these colors, or colors mean something to me with regards to the venue the wireless systems are in. This is just a nice way to visually organize things. So with that, I uh, think we'll close the tutorial there. I hope this was helpful. If you've got questions or comments, please make sure to leave them down below and let us know if you'd like to see any different types of tutorials in the future. Thanks.